Hey everyone, it's Odin here, and we're back for a new Let's Try. And today we're going to be trying Planet Centauri, which is a new early access title, um, very much in the vein of Terraria and Starbound. And a lot of people will probably think, oh, this looks exactly like Terraria so far, just looking at this title screen. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, it doesn't bother me at all. I don't have a problem. Uh, after all, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, as they say. But yeah, I'm a sucker for these type of games. So anyway, I wanted to check it out. Now, I've played it just for a few minutes just to familiarize myself with the controls and stuff. And then, But basically, I just want to check it out um, and just see what it has to offer maybe that's different from similar games, then that kind of thing. But in general, we're just going to check it out for a little bit, see what happens. So I'm going to make a new character here. And so we will be... Um, I have one with my name already. We'll give a slightly different spelling there. There we go. Here's the old customization thing. I don't want to take much time here, so it's just going to be bald and kind of angry looking, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm a very... Meh. Um, I can't even tell really what's going on there, so that's all fine. Um, and we're... I mean, we're, we were already male, weren't we? Did I just reset? Yeah, just reset it. Okay, that'll work. Um, Alright. So, and then we're going to create a world here. Let's do a new world. And I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that whatever you enter as a name is like a seed for procedural generation. I could be wrong, but it seems like what it is. So let's say, um, Odin sucks. Alright, here we are. Yeah, so that awesome-ass <laughs> armor we had on, it's gone. We don't get it. Alright, so here we are. Now here, this is actually like, this thing is going to talk to us and kind of lead us through a tutorial. Right. Probably have a lot of questions, but I gotta teach you how to survive, of course. So here's our quests. Pick up the pickaxe and the axe located in the chest. Alright, so... You know how this goes if you're familiar with Terraria and Starbound kind of thing. Now here's where it just kind of shows you, it takes you step by step what to do to accomplish the quest they just gave you. Which is really good the first time you look at it. But for now I'm just going to kind of burn through it. So as you can see we got the wooden pickaxe here. And then the axe. And obviously the pickaxe is for mining and the axe is for chopping down trees and such. Our quest is complete. We got this platform. 30 wooden platforms. Okay, and press escape to close these little menus. That took me a while to figure out. Okay. Gather four coal blocks, and we'll get this uh, sinew or rope or whatever the hell that is. So here's one thing I, I, I really like off the bat. Is you you have a pretty good, um, I don't know what you would call it, you know, like magnet range, you know, where you... You don't necessarily have to dig in to get the resource. It'll cut, you can get it from this distance, which I think is cool because you can kind of just stay on the surface here and get some of these things. Now there is a limit to how far down you can go to, to get them. Like I don't, yeah, you can't get there yet. And of course you'll upgrade your tools. But yeah, so you see how that works. And then also trees, just show you real quick, as you might expect. Alright, and that gives us seeds as usual. Um, so, for instance, like we got these tree seeds here, we could equip those, switch to that, and then you just kind of toss some seeds out. So you don't see like a seedling like you would see like in Terraria. So I don't know exactly where those are going to grow precisely. Uh, but anyway, so that quest is complete. So we get this string, actually, okay. Oh, and one of the things that I've noticed which is cool, well, let me... I'll show you once I'm able to get a weapon, because... I, one of the things I really like about this game is you left click to, to strike with the weapon and right click to strike with whatever your equipped tool is. So you don't have to switch between weapons and tools, which I think is very cool. Alright, so we need to gather eight wood. I think we already did that. Yeah, we've already got the wood from when I chopped down that tree. Now we got some arrows. And you can see what's what's being built up here. Clearly working towards a bow. 
eventually. Anyway, so craft a wooden sword and then craft a torch. Alright, so it's going to tell us to use the wood and coal to create a sword and torch. Right. And it's just telling us a little more about crafting. And then it shows us how to do it. So we press O to go to the crafting menu, and these are the things you can make, and this is what's required to make it. If it's filled in like it is, if it's colored in, it means we have it. Uh, if we don't, you'll notice it's kind of, it's grayed out, but if it's like this and it doesn't even have any description, it means we haven't found that yet. Okay, so they want me to make a sword first. You can see it does three cutting damage. We put that there. And then we need to craft a torch right here, so that'll use a wood chunk and some coal. And that gives us two torches. Alright. So as a reward, we're going to get some more wood and coal. Now, as I was saying a second ago, this is really cool. You know, right-click here. I mean, I'm sorry, right-click for the tool, left-click for the weapon. I really like that. Alright, so now we need to build an advanced crafting table. And it's going to tell us how to do that. And you know what this kind of thing is, you know, this opens up a new tier of things that you can make. So, when we go here to the crafting menu, we see the advanced crafting tables right here. Uh, so we need to place it for now, we'll do that. So we got some rocks and flowers and seeds for that, but that's cool. So now we use R to access it. And we can craft more things, as you can see. Now these are grayed out, I haven't found, I guess, like a blueprint. But here's some more familiar stuff. Okay. So that quest is complete. We've got some wood boards. Alright, so place the gravity table on the ground, build a door, and place it. So it's going to show us here about the shelter. Alright, so you can make your shelter out of whatever. Whatever you got. And here are the requirements. You need four walls forming a closed area. You need a background wall and a door, and then a source of light. And then it shows you here basically what you need. And this is basically the the kind of little elementary um, shelter I want to put into place. So I need to get, real quick, I'm just going to grab as much wood as I can while I'm right here. And you see that says 150 has a little icon. Those are, uh, I believe they're spirits or souls or something, and you get that from killing enemies. There's a chicken over there, and I believe that little yellow marker above the chicken means it's like a lead mob, even though the chickens are not a threat. Um, while I'm here, whoops, I didn't mean to. Sometimes I do that. I switch those around. I don't. That's. I don't know why I do that. Let me get a little more coal real quick. And yes, you can mine down into the ground. Of course, I, I'll show you. Okay, so I mean, we can do that as well, and we can go down and mine and do all that. But it's real easy right now just to grab this stuff from the surface. Alright, just time for a little more wood, and then we'll get a shelter going. Uh, like, let's do two more trees for now. And then I'll also want to plant some of these seeds eventually so we can get more trees going. Because we're going to need tons of wood at some point. Okay. Now. The floor thing can be an issue. Well, one thing at a time. So we want to make wood boards because we can't use the, wo the raw wood chunk really. So I'm going to make as many more boards here as I can. It's gonna, oh, that's a lot. Holy hell, yeah, 88? That's very nice. Are those the same? No, those are slightly different. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to make way... I did it again. First thing I want to do is make way for my, my floor. And I don't want a dirt floor. So I'm going to replace this. Now, there's here, if you go between free and auto on the tool, if I switch to auto... You see it kind of, I'm not exactly sure, I guess it just continuously mines in whatever direction you're pointing. I don't, I still can't really tell the difference there. But, you know, we'll figure it out eventually. 
Okay, so I want to start with my right mouse button laying down the floor here. And I want to make... Uh, let's go a little f further. And pick that crafting table up while we're at it. Alright, this should be just about enough room for now. Yeah, that should do. Okay. Right. Okay. So, I'm gonna go... Let's start the wall over here. I don't want to make it too ridiculously tall, because it's gonna take forever to finish. Because you gotta make that back wall, and it's gonna take so much wood. Oh, also another thing that I've noticed, I, and I'm pretty sure, is that when you're low on health, if you get near this green gym thing, uh, you start to regen health, which is always good. Alright, so we need to craft a door real quick. Um, oh, we need our crafting table again. My bad. Let's see. Let's put it... Let's put it all the way in the corner. There's a wooden door. Let's... I'll put it where the coal is for now. Let me open my inventory. There we go. Okay. So, switching to the door. Pop this down somehow. Not exact. There it is. Okay. So that quest is complete. That's just the door, but we got some new stuff here. Resource-wise. Let me open my inventory. Why are these stacked differently? There we go. Alright. And then they're going to tell us here, use the advanced crafting table to build a furnace. And then make three tin bars and make an anvil. So we're going to have mining and stuff to do. But I haven't finished my shelter, so we need to do that first. And as soon as I get the shelter going, I'll go out and kind of show you what the enemies are like. Stuff like that. Because I want to give you, a, not only me, but you also a decent idea of what's going on in the game in a relatively short amount of time here in this Let's Try. Oh my god, this, this is like a book I'm reading here. Okay, go away. Alright, so, light source. We'll go ahead and use both the torches I have. Now we've got to make those back walls. And to do this, we click here, switch to back. And then also, if you want to make different, like, house, like, roof pieces, you just select them here, which is very cool. Alright, that's all of those, so we're going to switch to this other board, because, well, yeah, I mean, I don't really mind if, it, the, if it's made of different stuff, but, I don't know, yeah, let's just do it this way. Oh, I have so much wood, it's not even funny. That's awesome, okay. Actually made the shelter a little wider than I was planning on, but that'll come in handy as we make more stuff. Okay. Hopefully 56 will cover it. Pretty sure it will. And there we go. So we've got the four walls, we've got the floor, we got the back wall, we got the door, we got the light source, we're good. Alright, so it told me to use the crafting table to make a furnace. As you see, it takes rocks and coal. Place that right there. Now it wants me to make three tin bars. Um, where's the tin? Oh, it's right here, right. And I have tin ore right now, but I only have enough to make... Wait, how many? Oh, I can make three already. Okay, cool. I'm going to put that there for now. Alright, so we made... Now they want us to make... Um, if we go back here... Let me show you. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to go to. I'm trying to remember how to get back to the... Qu oh, I think I have to go here to get the quest thing. Yeah, so you see in progress. This is just if you need to double check. So three tin bars, now build a tin anvil, and then make a tin armor piece. And we're going to get some sweet shit. If we do. Right? So, we've got the tin bars, now we need the anvil. And I believe... Well, yeah, we have to make it with the furnace. There it is, tin anvil. 
just like that. Now when you go to the anvil, you see you can make armor and stuff, but we don't have enough tin. You'll see I still have nine tin ore, so... That means we can make two more bars. If we go over here, that means we can make... Well, we can start off with a tin helmet. Go to our inventory. Pop it on. Quest complete. We got some more tin bars. Now this is sweet. We got... Let me put this down. We have a forged sword, which is five cutting damage instead of three, like the wood one. And then we have, this is really cool, the bronze pickaxe. You can see that it has six block damage. It has a different cooldown and cutting damage as opposed to the wooden one. You see? So, but this also leads me to something else I wanted to point out. So, like, when you activate, let me go out here real quick. This, you see it digs faster, but it doesn't, it still only does one block at a time. And I may be wrong, it's been a really long time since I played um, Starbound, but I thought in Starbound that as you upgraded, like, axes, pickaxes and stuff, that you would get greater, like, 2x2, two 3x3, two, three three. but at least you, you, you mine faster with this upgraded stuff, so it's not, it's not a total loss. And then, of course, we got that awesome sword. Okay. So now, obtain 50 souls, and we can unlock a skill. So the souls, again, that's what you get from killing enemies. Or monsters, whatever you want to call them. Alright, and this is telling us how to get to the skill menu. You press P. Right here, and you can see them. And these are all the different things you can unlock. So that's cool. The, the, the run with shift is, is awesome. Can't wait to get that. So let's go kill some stuff. This way you can get an idea for what the enemies are like. Now we'll be able to, we can't catch the chickens now, but we will be able to catch them once we have the run thing going on. While I'm out here, let me make a couple torches. Um, Because we could... Definitely mine stuff while we're kind of looking for enemies real quick. And yeah, so because you still do one by one on the on the blocks here with the mining, it takes a really long time. But if you I noticed that here when you switch to auto and you just hold down the right mouse button, see what it does? It's not it's still one by one, but it clears out. You see that? Ah, okay, see even I didn't realize it would go that far. Okay, so that makes mining much quicker. That's cool. Yeah, and of course we could drop a, a torch on the back if we wanted to. Go down here, drop another torch, and, and you know, go down and explore. And, and why not, I guess? Maybe we can find something to kill while we're down here. As opposed to... Well, I mean, there's plenty of stuff to mine, which is always great. Let's see. Let me put another torch there. It's starting to get fairly steep. I'm starting to get a little worried that maybe I won't be able to get back up if I... Well, I can always build my way back up like, um... Like this. Whoops. Oh, those are the chunks. My bad. There we go. You know, I can make, you know, things to stand on, blah, blah, blah. So it's not too bad. I mean, we could keep going down, but honestly, this could go on forever. So, what I want to do is go back up to the surface and try and find some enemies that way. Whoops. There we are. Okay. And you see the, the background kind of changes, the biomes kind of change. This should be something that you should expect from this type of game. Now this is actually an enemy up here, this little wisp bastard. Try and get its attention so it'll attack me. It's kind of a elite mob too. And for some reason it just doesn't want to come down here and fight. So let's try and find someone else. Oh, okay, so here's a zombie. Oh hell, he just vomited on me. There we go. Now the as far as I know the zombies are a a kind of a, a knight creature. It's still not day yet, but they could come out during the day. I don't really know. 
here's cool this is cool this is some uh whoops wrong thing some corn so we got some corn and some corn seeds so we can do some farming which is awesome well, let's stop for just a few things here oh that's going after the tree oh here's a desert biome i've never seen this before holy shit Dude. Oh, I just want to see its health. Okay, never mind. I don't want to see. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. What is that? How long is that thing going to chase me? Not long, hopefully. Oh, dude, I'm screwed. Dude, now there's enemies everywhere. I need to get back to my place before I die. I like the health bars, too, on the enemies. Helps me see. Oh, uh, what? Helps me see what's going on. I've never seen so many enemies. Now that I have like no health and I just desperately want to get back to that crystal. I'm pretty sure you can eat food and stuff too. To, oops, shit. To get your health back. But I haven't checked. Oh, we trapped the chickens. Yes! Oh, we didn't even get any food from them? You usually get some raw meat. What a bunch of crap. Anyway, so at, you see as I stand here, look at my health. Boom. Just like that. Alright, so now let's go back and there will be no enemies. I really want that run. I want to show you that run skill, hopefully, before I end this episode. But we're already kind of... It's taken a while. I, I know I can do it, though. I can do it. Yes, see, now you notice. Where are all the slimes? Oh, there we go. There's one. So, as usual, you want to watch the enemies, and their animations will, will tell you when they're going to strike. All that kind of stuff. But like I mentioned at the beginning, I really enjoy the animation on a lot of the enemies. And actually, that slime part that we're picking up, you can actually consume it to get life regen. Right. Oh hell, I thought he was gonna jump over me. Um and you can see right here we have thirty nine souls, so we got a really long way to go. Oh hell dude, I I need to get out of this no, we're gonna go the other way. What the fuck? No, 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 we ain't fight oh no. Oh shit. Oh I'm screwed. There's no health bar on this scorpion. Why not? These little flying bastards are really annoying. Ooh, give me that steak. Ah, uh, and some leather. I'm gonna kill this damn thing if it's the last thing I ever do. Shit, and it will be the last thing I do. Oh, hell yeah, look at all those souls I got, and I got a sapphire. Oh, well, now we're up at 83. That's not too bad. But my health is getting a little... He's going to hit me. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm glad I wasn't standing right there. Let me try eating this slime part real quick. Oh, shit. I'm paying attention. I was looking... It looks like that didn't... Did it give me health back? It looked like it only gave me, like... Stamina, or whatever the hell that green bar is. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, give me those souls. Oh! Ah, oh, damn it. It did hit me that time. I wonder... Oh, I was saying, I wonder if it'll hit them and do damage to the enemies if it hits them. It might. Oh my hell, that's a huge ass slime! Shit! Oh hell, dude, what? And he won't, he won't jump over me. He hits me every time. Dude, this is bad. I don't know how to fight this dude. I'm so dead. I don't know how far he's going to jump. I don't know how high he's going to jump. Dude, this sucks. No! I just want to get back to my... Ah, oh, I'm not going to make it. I'm so dead. What's up with this dude? Ah, oh, shit. The topography makes things a little difficult here. Yep. Oh, damn you! Luckily, we didn't lose our souls. 
That's actually the first time I've died. I didn't know what was going to happen. That's why I was so scared. I am not stopping until I get the, enough souls to show you guys the sprint skill, because it is awesome. And it means you can chase these chickens down. You know what? Screw this. I'm going to the left. But yeah, in case you were wondering about the, the seeds. Like, here's some rice seeds. Um, we could just use the right mouse button to throw them down. And I guess eventually we'll get some rice going. Alright. So yeah, obviously I really need to work on the, the combat, but... It's interesting, and I wonder... We might be able to craft a bow already, but I don't... You might need the crafting station. Oh, there's a boomerang. I didn't even know you could make that. Oh, we could make a bow. Let's see how that works. Oh, okay. Ah, so you hold it down to kind of charge it. I guess I gotta shoot. Oh, sweet! Awesome! Yeah, this is the first time I used the bow, as you can tell. And you can pick up your arrows. That is crucial. That is totally crucial. Oh, man. Not bad at all. Ah, oh, shit, you bastards. I want to use it against a, a traditional enemy. Here we go. Oh, that doesn't do a lot of damage, does it? Oh, crap. I want my sword back. I don't want this shit anymore. There we go. All right. How many souls did we need? Was it 150 or was it two something? Because if it's two something, that's never going to happen. Unless I kill another gigantic... Oh, god damn. 109, and I got burn damage. As you can see, it's draining my damn health. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a gigantic one. That's not what I wanted to see right now. I'm about to die again. Yep. Oh, hell. Did I lose souls? 96. I'm not even paying attention to the soul numbers. This is ridiculous. Alright, now that I've got health, I, I don't mind going up against a big-ass slime. Where are you at? You know what? It would probably be smarter to make more armor. More tin armor. God, the damn tree is stopping me from getting my tin. Piece of shit. Or, I mean, theoretically, we could go straight to copper armor, which is one tier higher than tin. It just depends. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get to that run skill for you unless we just do a really long video. Not saying I won't, but we'll see what happens. Alright, let's see what we can craft real quick. Damn it, I'm so bad at timing this stuff. Oh, come on. I was hoping that little fireball would hit these chickens. We'd get some, some serious barbecue chicken going on. I need to make another one of these. No. Okay. I'm trying to be quick, I promise. Okay. So we need to melt our ores down into ingots. Let me open the inventory and do it that way. Let me make copper. And of course, copper and tin together make bronze. We could also make bronze bars. But for right now, let's go to the anvil. We have tin, or we can go straight to copper armor. Let's get some copper greaves. And... I don't know why that says two. I just still don't understand that. But... Yeah, I don't know why that is. Anyway, maybe it's weight or something? I don't know. So that, that sets us up pretty well. Um, and you can also make a shield... There's a copper pickaxe. What am I rolling on right now? Bronze? That's block damage 6. This is block damage 5. Oh, yeah, so bronze is higher than copper, of course. And you can see those down here. Uh, ooh. Bronze sword is better than... So that's cutting damage 5. This is 6. We're going to make that. 
and you can see that it, you can use like the previous sword you've made. I know that was in Starbound. That it's one of the things I really liked is just because something is now obsolete doesn't mean you've made it for no reason. You can use it while crafting the next tier stuff. Um, all right, so we're just gonna do a little more. Try to do a little more killing now that we got some decent armor, and then we'll wrap it up. And basically. What I'm always doing with the Let's Try series is I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know if I'm going to like the game. I don't know if the viewers are going to like the game. All that kind of stuff. Ooh, two hits. Not bad now. But basically the point of the Let's Try is to just give you, obviously, just to give you a kind of... Ooh, look at these souls. Just sitting here. What the hell is with that? Anyway, but it's just to give you an idea of what this game's like in case you haven't checked it out. Um, plus my stupid commentary. That's always, always a plus. Uh, but if you guys like it, you gotta let me know in the comments, and you gotta hit that like button, and then maybe I'll turn it in later on down the road into a let's play instead of just let's try. Oh, here's a winter biome. I've never been in one of these either. We have 130. I want to say that I needed 150 souls, but part of me thinks that it was 250. And I'm curious, what is this? Holy shit. What is this? Oh, it's... Oh, it's coal. The coal is blue in the winter... Well, what the hell just happened? I don't know. Oh, hell, that does not look good. We have 150 souls, too. Alright, let me see. Oh, it was... Oh, we only needed 50? Oh, hell. There we go, man. Now check it out. I hit space and we sprint. There's re here's regular movement. Regular now sprint. You see it's fairly quick. I'm gonna get hit while I'm managing my inventory. Shit. Yeah, so we got a rune of some sort. Yeah, but kind of the last thing I want to do for now. Shit. Screw this. Is show you how the run skill lets you chase down those chickens because it makes getting food very easy. Oh, that did not work well. I'm fighting this bastard even though he's lead. I don't care. Okay, I guess he's leaving. Never mind. You can't blame that one on me. He chickened out. Oh, shit. There we go. So, yeah, as you can see, now we can catch up to the chickens. And they're not dropping any meat. They used to always drop meat. I wonder if that's been changed recently. How could that have been changed? I just played like an hour ago. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. They were dropping meat like an hour ago. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, so another night has fallen. But yeah, alright. So that will do it for this episode of Let's Try, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoy Planet Centauri. I, I know, I know the criticism is, Oh, it's exactly like Terraria and Starbound, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. But if you like this type of game, that... It doesn't matter. <laughs> so, anyway, if you think it's cool, let me know. And hit the like button if you enjoy this particular Let's Try. And we'll see you in the future, possibly, for some more Planet Centauri.